All right, so y'all go ahead and do the factory and the math knowledge question for today. Pause the video, and then once y'all finish, you can unpause the video, and I'll go over the correct answers. We're going to start by removing the 6 and multiplying it by the 3. So we're going to have x squared plus 7x minus 18. And then you replace it, and you're going to have 6x plus 9 times 6x minus 2. This one will divide by 3. So we'll have 2x plus 3. And the second one will divide by 3. I mean by 2, so we'll have 3x minus 1. And so this would be your answer for the factoring. For the math knowledge question, we bought an automobile for $14,000, and she paid $315 a month for five years. At the end of five years, how much more did she pay? We need to figure out first off, how much did she pay? Well, she paid $315 for five years. There are 12 months in each year, so she paid 315 for 60 months. And so that gives you a total of $18,900. She only needed to pay 14000 And so if you subtract those, you should get 4900 which is E. And so that's how much more she paid by financing. Okay, so we're looking at lesson 86 today, determining chord length. So hopefully after this lesson, you'll understand how to determine the chord length. So first we have theorem 86.1. If two chords intersect in a circle, then the products of the chord segments are equal. So if you look at our picture, we have two chords that intersect. The product of the chord segments are equal. So AE and BE are the segments of that first chord, or of one of the chords. So AE times BE is going to equal the segments of the other one. So CE times DE. That's what it's saying. This segment here times that segment equals this segment times that segment. So let's look at an example. We want to find X. So we're going to start off by saying this segment times 3.2, so 9.5 times 3.2, and then equals 6.4 times x. 6.4 times x. So 9.5 times 3.2 is 30.4, and then you have equals 6.4x. And so if you divide those, your x value is going to be 4.75. So you take one chord and the two segments, you multiply them together. And then you take the other chord, multiply those two segments together, and then you solve for whatever you're missing. Okay, looking at this one. It wants us to determine the length of DP. So this is the length of DP right here. So we're going to say 9 times 4 because that's one segment, I mean one chord's two segments. And then for the other chord, we have the segment six and we have the segment PD. So nine times four is 36 equals six PD. And so if you solve for the length of PD, you get six. Okay, so that's how that one would work. Looking at the next example, in the circle, we want to use the expressions that they give us and solve for m. So this is one chord, so its segments are 2 and m plus 7. And then this is the other chord, and its segment is 4 and 8 minus, four, eight, uh, 8 minus m. So we're going to distribute. We're going to have 2m plus 14 and then 32 minus 4m. So now we're gonna solve for m. I'm gonna add the four to make that 6m, and I'm gonna subtract the 14 and make that 18, and so m would equal three. So that would be your m value there, okay? Looking at the next example, a coin lands in a fountain two thirds of the way across the diameter. What percentage of the fountain's diameter is the length of the perpendicular cord that intersects the coin to the nearest hole 
number. All right, so we're going to do the same thing that we've been doing. This segment times this segment. So we're going to have one third D times two thirds D, and then one half C times one half C. So one third times two thirds is two ninths, and then we have D squared, and then one half times one half is one fourth C squared. Now here is where you have to understand what they were asking for. What percentage of the fountain's diameter is the length of the perpendicular chord? So we need to solve it in terms of the diameter, which is our D. So we need to have D in our answer, so that means we need to solve for C. So to solve for C, to get rid of this one fourth, we're going to multiply both sides by a four. And so we're going to have eight over nine, and then D squared equals C squared. Now, to solve for C, we're going to take the square root. And so 8 over 9 is 0.8 repeating, and the square root of that is 0.94, which as a percent is 94%. So 94% of the diameter is the chord. Okay, so whatever the diameter's length is, the chord is 94% of it. Most of the time, people cannot do that one without the picture, um, and I understand that. That's fine, but hopefully, once they give you the picture, you can just set your segments, um, multiply them together, and set them equal to each other, okay? So let's look at some practice problems. Y'all try these two, and then we'll go over them. So y'all pause the video real quick and do them, and then I'll show you the answers. So it tells us that we have a circle. And we have AB, and we have CD, and they intersect at point B. It says use this information for parts A and B. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my circle and put it for both of them. Okay, so for the first one, AE is 3 here, BE is 16, and then CE is 9. So obviously I did not draw that to scale, but we're looking for the length of DE. So we know that 3 times 16 is going to equal 9 times DE. 3 times 16 is 48. So it equals 9 DE. And so the length of DE is 48 over 9, but that will reduce. You can divide by 3, and you'll get 16 over 3. So that would be your length there. Okay, looking at the next one. AE is 7, BE is Y, CE is 4 minus Y, and then DE is 2. So again, I didn't draw it to scale, but I've got the chords in the right spot. So we would say 7 times Y, and then 4 minus y times 2. So we want to solve for y. So we're going to say 7y, and then we're going to have 8 minus 2y. So if I add the 2y over, I'm going to get 9y equals 8, and so my y would equal 8 over 9. And so that would be the answer there. Looking at the next one, we have two chords that intersect. Find the value of our x. So y'all try this one, and then I'll go over it for you. We're going to do 3x minus 1 times 6, and then equals 2x plus 4 times 7. So distribute, you'll have 18x minus 6 and then equals 14x plus 28. If you subtract, you'll have 4x, and then if you add the 6, you'll get to 34. And so if you divide, 34 over 4 would be 17 over 2, or x equals 8.5. You can put either one of those, okay? Looking at the next practice problem, we have a cylindrical natural gas pipeline
and it's supported at two points that are 10% of the diameter above its lowest point. Okay, so that's what it would look like. And it wants to know what is the distance between the supports. So what is the distance here? All right, so we need to draw in our diameter. And so I'm going to put it just right here. And we know that 10%, it's 10% above the lowest point of the diameter. So this is 10% here, which means that this part here is going to be 90% of the diameter. And then we want to know what is the length of this cord. So I'm going to split it into X and X. And so the diameter is 4 feet 9 inches. So I'm going to change that into all inches. So 4 feet and then 9 inches is going to be 57 inches. That's the diameter. So 10% of the diameter is going to be 5.7 inches. And 90% of the diameter is going to be 51.3 inches. So we're going to do 5.7 times 51.3. And then that's going to equal x times x, which is x squared. So 51.3 times the 5.7 is 292.41. And then to solve for x, you're going to take the square root of that. So if you take the square root of that, you get 17.1. And so that's the length right here. But we need to know the total. What is the distance from here to here? So you're just going to double it because it's 2x. And so that's 34.2. And so if we convert that back into feet, we know that we have two feet because that's 24 inches. So we have two feet, and then if you take away 24 inches, you've got 10.2 inches left. And so 10.2 inches, and so that would be your answer there. So the picture, once you have the picture, these aren't so bad. It's sometimes coming up with a picture that takes a little bit of practice. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense there. We've got a challenge question, so y'all go ahead and pause the video and try this one, and then I'll go over the answers for you. So I'm going to start with this triangle, I mean the circle over here. This one over here. And so I have 6 times 2x, and then I have 8 times x plus 1. And so that would be 12x equals 8x plus 8. And so 4x would equal 8, so my x value would equal 2. So that means that this length here is going to equal 4, and this length here is going to equal 3. Okay? Now, I also need to figure out this length here. So that's going to be a length of 6. And so now I can figure out PF. PF has a length of 4. PE has a length of 3, and then P to D has a length of 9, okay? If you had wanted, you could have used the big triangle, this whole big triangle, and you would have done 6 times x, uh, 2x plus 8. And then... The other side would be 8 times x plus 1 plus 5x minus 4. And so x plus 1 plus 5x minus 4 would be 6x minus 3. And so we should get the same x value if we distribute this. We would have 12x plus 48, and we would have 48x minus 24. And so... I can subtract the 12 to make that a 36x, and I can add the 24 to make that 72, and so x would equal 2. 
So if you wanted to use the big circle, you could do it that way. It would just be very, very slightly um, longer because you'd have to add a little bit more for your segments. Okay, so your homework is 1 through 30, so you need to make sure to do that tonight so that we can go over any questions you have tomorrow.